Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to all my students. Today we will continue our subject uh, in multimedia subject in chapter number 12 uh, which is the internet and multimedia. But first thing first, uh, let's take a look on the overview for this subject. So the first one and the first overview for this subject is of course the internet history. The second one is internet working and the final one is multimedia on the web. History of internet. Okay, the internet began as a research network and funded by the Advanced Research Project Agency or ARPA in the US Defense Department in 1969. And so in year, in year 89, Okay, the National Science Foundation or NSF uh, took over the management of the ARPA net. Okay. According to the history, one of the main purpose why they create the internet is for the military reason. Okay, they want to change, they want to exchange the information from one place to another place in a very short time. Next is internet working. So what is internet working? Okay, a network is a cluster of computer. Okay, in a network, the server computer provide network services to the client computers on the network. Okay, several local area network or LANs can be interconnected using gateways and routers to form wide area network. So according to a LAN or local area network, the small scale of uh, network such as in a lab eh, and uh, and a collection of LAN, uh, we can create a wide area network or we call it a WAN. Okay. LAN and WANs can be connected to the internet through a server that provides an internet software and physical data connection. Internet addresses. The domain naming system or DNS assign names and addresses to computers linked to the internet. And the top level domain or TLDs were established as categories to accommodate internet users. Okay, the two letter domain is based on political boundaries, for example, .my for Malaysia, .id for Indonesia, .us for United States, and .au for Australia, and so on. Okay, the IP address or internet address is made up for uh, of four numbers separated by period. Okay, this is during the IPv4. So, but nowadays we already have the IPv6. So what? Is, so what is IPv4 and IPv6? Okay, you can check out on the link that I gave you, and you guys just uh, watch the video first. All right. Okay, next is TCP IP. Okay, TCP IP or the Transmission Control Protocol and the Internet Protocol are the protocol for communication on the internet. So, uh, the stream of data that is sent over the internet is first broken down eh, into packets by the TCP. And then after that, the data, the data packet included, uh, include the receiving computer address, the sequence number, the error connection, and, uh, and a small piece of data. Okay, this is uh, being done by TCP. And after that, it will be transferred or it will be sent to the receiver. Okay, by using the IP. So IP is responsible, uh, responsible for sending the packet to its destination along the route. Okay, uh, a telephone dial up account and modem, a cable modem or a digital subscriber line is required for network connection through an internet service provider. Okay, there are several uh, service provider in Malaysia, okay, so, such as Telecom Malaysia, okay, and the amount of data expressed in terms of bit per second BPS is referred to as bandwidth. Okay, the greater the bandwidth, the lesser time will be taken to upload or to download the data from the internet. And low bandwidth modem connection are bottleneck for sending multimedia across the internet. So to avoid and to avoid the bandwidth bottleneck, and we can use uh, several ways or several action and before we want to send the data okay, the first one is compress the data before transmitting and the second one over user to download data only once 
and then store that data on the system hard disk. Okay, the third one is a design multimedia element to be efficiently compact. The fourth one is design alternate low bandwidth and high bandwidth navigation path to accommodate all users. And the last one is implement an incremental streaming method. So this is the method or this is the way, some of the way that can be used by, by us just to avoid the bandwidth bottleneck from happen. Alright, next is a multimedia on the web and the World Wide Web was designed by Tim Berners-Lee. Okay, it is a protocol for linking multiple documents located on computers anywhere within the internet. Okay, the HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, it provides a simple rule for simple transaction between two computers on the internet. Okay, and HTML is a document format for presenting structured text mixed with inline images. So you can create your own website. Okay, if you know how to code uh, the HTML, okay, you can create your own website from scratch. Okay, the simplest editor that can be used to create uh, a website using HTML, okay, you can just use a notepad uh, to design your website. Dynamic web page can be created using Cold Fusion, PHP, JavaScript, and program written in Java. Okay, the XML uh, extensible markup language okay, is used to format and deliver web page using style. So you can try okay, all this method and eh, all, all this dynamic web page okay, using Cold Fusion, PHP, JavaScript, eh, or Java to make your website more interesting. Okay, there are several ways to design a, a, an effective multimedia for the web. Okay, it includes the first one is presenting text and images, audio and animation in a user friendly that balance bandwidth deep deficit. And the second one is understanding how to deliver a multimedia content to HTML browsers and plug in player vehicle. So, this is uh, the effective way eh, when we want to before we create uh, in, uh, before we create the website or the web page so we want to design it first okay this is other uh, some of the things that need to be taken into account okay. so what are the tools that can be used to create a worldwide web okay, of course eh, to develop uh, the, the development of the HTML standard is stressed by rapid of tools and increased demand for features so what are what else the tools that are needed okay we need a web servers we need a web browsers and, and search engine web page makers and site builders and plug in and delivery vehicles so this is uh, some of the tools yeah, for the world wide web so as a summary yeah, the internet connects private companies organization universities and individual and the internet is a, is a cluster of computers Okay, the internet service providers provide network connection through a dial-up account, a cable modem, or a digital subscriber line. Okay, the domain name system can manage the identities of computers connected to the internet. And the HTTP provide rules for contacting, requesting, and sending document encoded with the HTML. And the final one is you can use a JavaScript, a Cold Fusion, and XML to generate a dynamic web page. So in this chapter, okay, you can see there are a lot of uh, reference video that I use to, to make you guys understand more about the internet and web page. Right? So I hope you guys will understand or we can, uh, we can understand this chapter. And again, okay, so uh, if you have any question, you can contact me, uh, you can contact me via email or just call or text. Alright, so see you again in the next chapter. Bye bye.